yeah, I don't know. I don't know, guys. Oh, I don't know what to do with this. What's up? Welcome back to your girl's channel. This is Jazz in Motion, and I'm so excited that, you know, you're here to do this review with me because if you read that title, you know why we're here. I want to jump right into the video, but before we do, I want to let you know that I've already moisturized my face with my Neutrogena, and I already primed my face as well, and I also threw in a little extra, you know, Kylie's skin, which I'll be doing a review on this as well, so subscribe if you want to know how I feel about her in the next video. So let's jump right into it. Today is Battle of the Foundations. I go with MAC. I've tried so many other foundations, but I cannot find one that just matches my skin and covers everything. As you can see, I do have, you know, dark spots and, you know, all that good shit. And this just it does the job and then I seen this on my Instagram as I was scrolling and it really caught my eye and I was able to try it for just five dollars you know I went past the return time frame so I'm stuck with it so I just hope that I like it all right so I'm gonna start with okay I'm gonna start with math because this is what I use. So I'm going to give it a nice little shake. Shake, shake, shake. And then I don't have a pump on it. But I do put it on the back of my hand anyways. Just to let it warm up. Now with MAC. what This is 30 milliliters. So they are the same size. Um, this one costs 49 And that's with shipping. I think I pay like 32 for this one so mac is cheaper just saying mac is cheaper but at the end of the day i will pay for a flawless finish so we're gonna see about this is that it does start off light but the longer it stays on it oxidizes and you get that perfect color that perfect color that you be looking for that only Matt can provide and then I'm just gonna put the rest of it right here on my problem area so comment below who you guys want to see me do a review for next so i love the way this smells i love the consistency of it um it's a little bit thicker but i love it and i don't use studio finish i use the studio fix fluid so if you guys have never tried that i definitely recommend all right and this is my winter color not my summer color because you know when i bought this one it was still winter um or at least it was colder so i'm gonna give it a fair try so the color is gonna be off a little bit just because you know it's summertime and i've gotten a little dark in the past few months all right oh mac yes Okay, so I'm going to switch out the brush. I'm going to switch out. So let's do a little quick. Oh, you know what? No, I didn't just do that. So I'm so sorry because this packaging is everything. So let me go ahead and put this back so I can show you. It comes in a pretty case and it's an actual stand-up presentation. So you can put this right onto your vanity easy access it stays in there really tight every time which i love you don't want to worry about it falling out if you you know on the go um 
Weight wise, this for some reason is way heavier. It might be just whatever it's made out of. Um, and I'm an NC 45.5 in MAC. And this is showing me as a 160. So I did read the directions because, again, I've never used this. And this also says to do two pumps, which is perfect for your face. So because I'm doing half, I'm just going to do one pump. And I think just to let it warm up a little bit on my hand. All right, let's see. Um, the smell automatically kind of... Definitely has its own distinct smell to it. Mm, mm. I don't feel like this goes as far as one of the Mac would go. Um, it is a thinner consistency, like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, guys. Oh, I don't know what to do with this. Specify how you should put it on. It just says use a sponge or a foundation brush. So I'm gonna go from lightly patting into just doing circular motions to try to get it to blend in a little bit. All right. Now, sorry, I'm just trying to look at it a little bit more in the mirror. All right. This is what we're looking at. I'm going to turn the light down a little bit. This side is MAC. And this side is Il Maquillage. Let me see. I feel like I want to give a fair comparison. I really do. But I just don't like it. Um, It's it's ashy like it makes me look <sighs> yeah not I'm not a fan no so I want my money back because this was expensive as hell and I get it yes I like the packaging but boo no I don't like what it's doing for my skin the longer the Mac sits on my face the better it's looking and this was just with one passing like I would let it dry and then I typically would do a whole nother passing but at the end of the day yeah I don't even think I would recommend this to anyone um, maybe it's the color Maybe the color is not right, but they're an online vendor, so I don't know. This is a dud, babes. I wouldn't, re nah, I would not recommend this at all. Um, packaging's great. I love the weight, um, but the actual foundation itself is not good at all. Yeah, no go for me. So if you guys are thinking about buying this because you've seen something on Instagram, um, I personally do not like it. I wouldn't recommend it. This is not something I would recommend anybody spending their money on. When you go to your local Mac store and have Mac, if Fenty doesn't, you know, break you out, I would highly suggest Fenty. But this, we're done with that. So the next video we will be looking at Kylie Jenner. So if you guys want to know how I feel about Kylie's skin, if you want to know, if you want to know the truth, you need to subscribe to the channel, boo, because there ain't no other way. And if you want to know immediately when I post, because I know you want to know, make sure you click that bell so that way you can get notifications. Again, this is your girl Jazz in Motion. This is Battle of the Brands. And Mac, you're our champion. Like, you can, I'm done.